Hi folks, I'm Charles, the inventor of the popular BioBlaster series of high-powered shock ozone treatment machines. Today, I'm here to answer another one of our frequently asked questions. This question is probably the most important question I'm ever asked. What makes your BioBlaster machines better? Well folks, there are far too many things for me to really break down, but I decided to make an attempt today to let you know the various significant differences that make our machines some of the most durable, most reliable, rugged high output machines that are out there. Now, I know folks that you're buying a BioBlaster, what you really want is a lot of ozone to be able to destroy viruses, bacteria, mold, and odors. And I can assure you, our machines absolutely will do that. But, what's inside them that makes them so much better? Well, it's high quality ingredients, folks. First of all, if you, I beg you to watch our strength and durability videos. We build the most durable machines on the market. And I'm here to show you a little bit about why. So, the first thing we do is we build these into two of the toughest tool cases in the world. Uh, these tool cases are so tough, they'll withstand dropping and direct abuse um, that can be dished out by the average homeowner or contractor. Um, next, our, our machines use our patent pending ozone tunnel technology. What's an ozone tunnel? Well, you see, folks, if you watch my other videos, you realize that an ozone tunnel is what separates the generation of the ozone from the rest of the contents of the inside of the box. In most ozone machines, you have the case and then a fan, transformers, and generator cells at the other end. So that means that the ozone is made in the exposed part of the inside of the case, and that leaves it to oxidize the contents. And this is why ozone machines break down so quickly, and so many of them are so absolutely fragile. So if you'll notice, in our ozone tunnel, we have our generator cells, and then this is going to get blocked off on one end and attached to the blower, and on the other end, it's shooting directly out of the box. So this ozone tunnel directs the air from the fan or the blower across the cells, giving you an amplification and concentration of the generation of the ozone, and then getting it far away from the box as, as possible. And it keeps all of that ozone inside this chamber so that it doesn't escape out into the rest of the box and destroy or oxidize the rest of the electrical components. Even in our lower priced homeowners models, we have a miniature version of the ozone tunnel. This piece gets connected to the rest of the tunnel, the round piece, and it segregates the ozone that's being generated on the inside um, and allows that fan to push that gas immediately out of the box on the other side. That's the first thing. That's a patent pending technology. It's one of my first improvements to the world of ozone machine, folks. Uh, secondly, um, we use only the finest fastener materials. You'll see here a variety of stainless steel fasteners. This is the best grade of stainless steel available, folks. It's the only one that's capable of handling that high oxidative uh, induction that happens when ozone is generated. And without that, uh, your screws would rapidly rust, and that's what happens in a lot of competitor machines. So every single nut, bolt, and screw that we put into this machine is absolutely the purest, highest grade, most expensive stainless steel possible. Um, next, uh, what we've done is we, we use the best plastic available. Uh, in other ozone generators, uh, they use either aluminum or tin, and then they have uh, sometimes this plastic, it's called PVC. You're probably familiar, that's what some cheap, uh, cheaper plumbing systems use inside customers' homes. Well folks, PVC is a B-rated plastic against ozone. And what uh, B-rating means is that it's subject to oxidative wear. It's, it's pretty good, but it's not really the best. And in our machines, we use absolutely uh, the best. It's called HDPE. That's high-density polyethylene plastic. It's more expensive. And this stuff is so dense, it can even block cosmic rays. And we use it in quarter-inch and even half-inch thicknesses in our ozone tunnel. And that half-inch thickness is what protects 
the inside and it's why our machines are some of the most durable uh, on the market today. Fourth, or, or third, the next thing that we do is we use uh, two backups. And these are safety backups. You know, most folks, what most uh, machines have is they have a fuse holder and a standard glass fuse inside it. And the problem uh, with this is it works uh, fairly well, but there are certain situations uh, that involve bad electrical uh, problems in a, in a house that you might plug your bio blaster into or other issues if you have a, a load or a spike in electricity that can cause an overheating. So we built not just a fuse into our box, we built a secondary backup anti-fire protection. It's called a thermal fuse. You're probably familiar with this because all common household um, items that use high amounts of electricity for heating have one of these things. They're in your hair dryers, they're in your coffee pots, they're in your irons. This is called a thermal fuse. And what this fuse does is it shuts off if the machine ever gets uh, up to about 180 degrees or 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's way lower than any temperature required for ignition. And so it's an extra piece of protection. We couple both of the fuses together in our system and it makes it for a super safe, uh, fire safe machine. The next thing that we do is we use some of the best wire available. In many companies' ozone machines, they use standard simple copper wire. You can probably see it's shining as copper here in the light. And what this copper does when it's exposed to oxygen in an ozone machine is it starts to oxidize, turn green, and develop a patina of oxidization. This outer coating will then become hard and brittle and what it does is it starts to break down and flake away and it leaves your machine exposed. In our, also, when you're dealing with high voltages, it's super important to have some sort of a, a coating on the wire and to use a silicone, at a minimum, uh, shielded type of wire. And silicone wire is what we use in our machines. If you'll notice, you can't see the copper and that's because we use some of the most expensive plated wire available. This plated wire is plated with tin or silver. We prefer the silver stuff. It's very expensive and it's American made and we've chosen it to be the wire for our machines so that they run at an absolute uh, premium length of time so that you have a long-lasting machine that will solve your mold, virus, bacteria, and odor destruction needs. The next thing that we have is we have some of the finest generator cells available. Folks, this is a high-tech, thick ceramic plate. That means this thick ceramic dielectric will never cause a burn through. It's from the, made from some of the finest grade porcelain materials that are out there. And on the top, it's plated with a nickel circuitry. And that electrified nickel is an awesome um, metal to use uh, for the generation of ozone. It's a long-lasting uh, generator cell design, and this high-tech paddle design is easily changed should it ever go uh, wear or go bad. And it can be unplugged from the machine by a simple uh, tug and then the new plate inserted. This makes repair in the field a breeze. And remember folks, the very first reason I created an ozone machine is I've been an ozone machine user. My men have broken virtually every type of ozone generator I've ever brought to a job site. And they break them rather quickly. And nothing as a contractor costs you more money than downtime when you can't do a job because your tool's not working. I designed this machine so that the average person could change a plate in under five minutes with a screwdriver and a gentle tug. It can be replaced. But don't get me wrong, this plate has a 3,000 hour life rating. If that means it can run eight hours a day for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months on end uh, before you'll ever need to think about that. And they're fairly inexpensive to replace. 
So we've built some of the most impressive safety features into these machines. We've given them the ozone tunnels. We use the silver plated wire. We're using the top coated stainless steel. We've got not one but two fire protections inside these machines. And best of all, they're awesome rugged high powered machines. If you have a mold, virus, bacteria, or odor situation, if you've suffered from a fire and you're trying to get rid of the smoke smell, or if you're using ozone for any one of its varied thousands of other uses, you have found the right machine for you. Don't take my word for it. Buy one today and prove it to yourself.